is up, everyone? We are at Al Jum's Barbecue on Telegraph Road in Dearborn Heights. It's this tiny, tiny little place inside a burger shack. Now, to call Ali a, a food preparer or a cook or a chef wouldn't do him justice. The man is a food artist. He is, he is the Pablo Picasso of beef brisket. He is the Michelangelo of mac and cheese, the Leonardo da Vinci of loaded fries. Let's go and talk to Ali and find out just how good his food is. We are with Ali, the master, the food artist of Al Jum's barbecue. Ali, tell us how you got started. I was working as a waiter at a restaurant and then I always wanted to cook. I've always been cooking my whole life. It started when my family moved overseas and I started cooking my mom's food at home. And then uh, I decided to do barbecue because at the time when I started, there was no halal barbecue. Yeah. You know, so I was like, I need to make that happen. So you, you had a food truck before this like brick and mortar, you had a food truck, right? Yeah, I actually started in a gas station in River Rouge. You know, we all grew that, moved into a food truck for about a year, and now we're in here. So. Tell me why your food looks just so appetizing. Why, why is it so Instagrammable? Why are you so good at making the food look appealing? I called you the Pablo Picasso of beef brisket. I called you the Michelangelo of mac and cheese. Well, actually when I was younger, I was an artist. I used to love to paint, I draw and everything. So I, I feel like food is art. And then if it looks good, it's gonna taste even better. I want to present food to people the way I want to be presented food. You have a lot of things on the menu, a lot of barbecue things. You have the sausage, you have the, the loaded fries, but it's the Detroiter, kind of that, that, that's like your heart and soul is the Detroiter sub. So, so tell us real quick about the, the origin. So the Detroiter sub, I created it because I want to put Detroit on the map. You know, you got the Philly all over the world is known for the the Philly cheesesteak. So I want to create something that can represent Detroit in a way. And it's got a little kick. So you got the grilled jalapenos, grilled mushrooms, grilled onions, and I use the portobello mushroom, so it's all gourmet. Of course, 13 hours smoked brisket, homemade barbecue sauce. 13 hours. So, so the night before? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. Yeah. So are you going to show us the magic behind the Detroiter sub? Show us what's up. Let's, let's, let's go inside and see what's up. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to start off with the uh, grilled onion, portobello mushrooms, fresh jalapenos, seasoned with salt, pepper. And we're using a brioche. Just going to toast that real quick. We're going to wait till the Vegetables get caramelized a little bit. So it comes with mayo, homemade barbecue sauce, and a Carolina gold drizzle. For shizzle. Yeah! As soon as the vegetables are a little caramelized, we're gonna start adding the brisket. Are right, you ready for the brisket drop? For sure. <laughs> so this 13 hour brisket, Very tender. This is my secret juice that I use for the... Throw it on there. Throw it on there. This is for you, Andy. We add more meat. Vegetables and the meat, so every white taste the same. Give you American. And then real Swiss. Real Swiss. Real Swiss. Yes. Not, not, not the fake stuff. Hey. <laughs> the Detroiter from Al Jumes. Here we go. The great thing about the Detroiter and the thing I love most is that there's like four or five 
different flavors in your mouth. It's a, it's a flavor explosion. Bang, 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 Ooh, daddy, bang, bang. bang. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. My only complaint about the Detroiter, it is so hard to get your hands around. That's what she said. <laughs> Gotta dig in to the mac and cheese. Despite being fat, I don't even like mac and cheese. Hold on. It's beautiful because he puts a lot of pepper in there, so there's like a spice to it. I love it. Did you get that on video that she was about her? We have Kennedy here and Kennedy is staring down this food. It looks amazing. What, I wish I could try it. Tell the viewers what you got to eat. I got a veggie burger. My co-host not uh, being a vegan and not eating any of the food that I love. I'm sorry. Sorry is not going to cut it. We had to make it official with Woodward Sports, baby. Let's get the veggie burger, move it out of the way. Have we convinced Kennedy to finally break her vegan status with the Detroiter fries. Have we convinced you? Uh, I mean, if anything was gonna get me, it would be like a chili cheese fry, but I don't know, probably not. We have not convinced her. Not yet. By the end of Isaac Eats, Kennedy will be a full carnivore. So every month, Ali comes up with a new menu item. And this one is probably his most popular. It's the one everyone wants him to bring back. It is his version of the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Now, Ali has one where you can get it, but you have to sign a waiver. That's how hot the sandwich is. Here we go. my top two or three favorite Nashville hot chicken in all of Michigan. We've pulled Easy from behind the camera. Easy has the strawberry shortcake. I have the Superman. It's a piece of Superman cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, let's toast. Best shake I ever had. It's so good. It's really good. All right. I don't believe it's the best shake you ever had because it's the best shake I ever had. No, nope. wait, what? Yeah, that's it, that's, that's, that's what you have. The second episode of Isaac Eats at Al Jum's Barbecue. We'll be back next week at Freddy's Pizza. Peace out, everyone. Did that get your attention? Thank you for checking out this episode of Isaac Eats. Make sure you subscribe to Woodward Sports to get this next episode before anyone else. Thank you for supporting Isaac Eats. Peace.